and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another clothing haul. So I have gone kind of crazy buying uh, dresses from Ivy City Co, which is the number one mommy and me brand for dresses. And I just love everything that they're putting out. And they also have pretty consistent drops and releases for their clothing. They also have sizes from extra extra small all the way to 5X. And I have seven more dresses to show you. <laughs> and then I got two activewear sets from this company called Amy Jane London. And I also got my very first Love Shack fancy dress. So I'll be showing you all of that in this video. And to start off, we'll start with this dress here, which is called the Gardenia dress. And this is just a very, almost like baby pink dress with this beautiful floral pattern on it. I really like this dress. I like the pattern and material more than I like the design, but it's very comfy. It's very cozy. I feel like you can dress this up or dress it down. And it also has a lining has a lining underneath of it and it's really long. It's like a midi dress and yeah. All right, the next dress I have is the Rosalind dress. I really like this. This is very much like the Emmy dress that I showed in my previous video, the white one with the blue um, embroidered flowers on it. So this is a very similar design to that. And this, it just looks like kind of like antique watercolor painting type of design on it. It's got beautiful flowers and leaves and it has little ruffles on the tiers. It's another midi dress. It has these beautiful puff sleeves and this v-neck collar with ruffles, nice and stretchy. Also for most of these dresses, they are a size small, but generally if they're not the stretchy kind. I get an extra small because I just feel like the small, when it's smocked, fits more like an extra small. But that's just my personal opinion. And then this one is also lined. And I really like this one. I will point out on the wet on Ivy City Co's website, this looked more like a baby blue color, but it's more like a almost like a light teal color in person. So it was a little darker than what I thought it was going to be, which surprised me a little bit, but I still really, really like this dress. Next up, we have the cottage dress. This is actually a collaboration that they did with a local artist, and I think her name's Celeste. And I just absolutely love this dress. I wore this recently on date night when me and my husband went and watched the new Doctor Strange movie. This looks like super dressy, but it's so comfortable. Like, I feel like I'm wearing a nightgown. <laughs> but it looks super dressy but this has almost like a sweetheart neckline but it's not as defined and it has cute little puff sleeves with ruffles and it has this gorgeous like bow and floral design on it which is just so gorgeous and this is like super long and flowy uh for reference i am five foot six and a half so it comes to my ankles. <laughs> so if you're shorter than five foot six and a half, this might be trailing on the ground. I would just keep that in mind because it is very, very long. And I think it also is longer in the back slightly. So yeah, if you are shorter, you might wanna wear heels or something with this, but I love this. It is so comfy. And then this one here, I actually got an extra small because this doesn't really stretch or anything, and it has a zipper in the back. Next up, we have the Madeline dress, which is just so pretty. This dress here is actually, this style of dress is very, like, I almost want to say it's like their signature, like, style, because the Madeline dress comes in, I think, five different colors. But then you have the Starry Night dress, which I so showed in my previous video, that also is this exact same design. And I have another dress here towards the end that is also the same design or style. They just all have different fabrics. But this here is the purple Madeline dress. And I just love this. It's another midi dress. Almost all of these dresses are midi. It again has the really poofy sleeves. It has a smocked bodice. 
and it's so comfortable it's so flowy yeah i just love this dress <laughs> or this style of dress i like all the dresses i got in this design and style i do feel i'm wondering if this was a return because it feels like the elastic on these sleeves is a little like looser than the other ones so I'm wondering if this was, like, someone put it on and stretched it out and it didn't fit so they returned it. Because it does feel a lot looser than the other dresses that are all in small that are the same design. Or maybe it could just be this fabric. I don't know. But I really like this. I've actually worn this quite a bit. You probably have seen it in some of my videos because I really like this dress. Next up, I have the Harper dress. This I had actually ordered back before I filmed my first video but it didn't sadly arrive in time because it got returned to Ivy City Co. But I ended up getting it. Everything worked out great. And I really, really like this. It's just, it's so precious. <laughs> like, I almost feel like this is more of like a little girl's dress, which you can get these dresses for your little girls. But I also feel very kind of like mature and like semi-professional in it too. This, I will say, wrinkles very easily like I steamed this and wore it the other day to work and it's just been hanging in my closet and it's a bed of wrinkles again <laughs> uh so keep that in mind I don't know if I'd like actually like ironed it ironed it if it would have you know wrinkled up as much but I'm bad at ironing so I like to steam my dresses but I love the ruffle sleeves here which go all the way down the back they do not skimp on fabric we also have this cute little I think they're called a pussy bow, I think is what it's called, that you can tie up here. And it's, it's like a pink gingham, but not quite exactly like pink gingham. And it has one little ruffle around the center. And this is somewhere in between a midi and a, like, knee-length skirt. But yes, I really like this one, and I think it's also perfect for, like, spring and summer. It just, I feel like I should be going to, like, a church picnic or a office picnic or something. <laughs> so next we have, I think this is called the Mia dress or the Mina, something like that. I'll have it over here in the corner what it's called. But I absolutely love this dress. Like as soon as I opened this and put it on, I was just like, oh my goodness, I feel like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Like, oh, just absolutely adore it. I will say, I don't know if this dress doesn't have lining in it, which is really weird. It's the only dress of theirs that I have that doesn't have lining. So I don't know if that was a manufacturer, like, error, or if it just isn't supposed to have one. I mean, it's not see-through. Like, the fabric isn't see-through. So it doesn't really need one. But I was just surprised that it doesn't have one. But this is, again, it's the exact same, like, style and cut as the Madeline and also the Starry Nights dress. So, yeah. I love this dress and I think I'm actually going to wear this after the video is over. <laughs> so next we have the Alley dress. This here reminds me of like the 1940s, which I really, really like. I normally would have gotten this in an extra small and I should have, but because it has all these buttons going down the center, I was afraid that if I got an extra small, it would be too tight around my waist. And then when I sat down, it would be pulling on the buttons. But I don't think that would have been the case. So this isn't as form-fitting as a lot of the other dresses are. It could be, it could be, you know, in a little bit better to have it more form-fitting. But I don't think it looks too big, especially if I keep my arms down. Like, it doesn't look too big. And I got this dress more to be, like, kind of a throw-on when I don't really want to dress up or be like over the top. I just want to throw on an easy dress and chill. Now, I will say, when I got this dress in the mail, only three of these buttons were buttoned up. I had to sit down for like 10 minutes and butt un or button up the rest of them. <laughs> and it, they do stretch. So if you wanted to, they do have a little stretch. Thank goodness they were smart and they gave us a zipper. So you don't have to unbutton all these. Now they do have this listed as breastfeeding and maternity friendly. So you can wear it through all walks of life. Or you can just be like me and, and like their dresses and want to wear them. <laughs> but 
unbuttoning this would be a pain. But I really like this and I'll probably be wearing this a lot when I feel like being lazy. Almost like a house dress probably. But yes, I think this is really cute and I would stick to your true size and not worry about sizing up because I did that and it's a little big on me. So this is my last Ivy City Co dress. I'm now going to show you a Love Shack fancy dress that I got. Here we have my first ever Love Shack Fancy dress that I actually bought from the Love Shack Fancy website. They're having like this huge sale and I got this dress for almost 70% off. Now I will say this. This says it is the Madeline dress. I would not wear this out in public. I would... I've been using this as a nightgown because it is... there is no lining. It is see-through and it just gives me like vintage nightgown vibes. So we have these beautiful like ruffle lace sleeves. We have, it almost feels like a silk bow. I checked, it says that the outfit is 100% cotton, but this is like a very silky, really nice ribbon. And it's got like embroidery here on the center of the dress. And it has the ribbon threaded through it with lace here. And then we have lace on the bottom with more embroidery. Like this is like really, really nice. Now, do I think it's nicer or is, is worth as much as this originally was? Because this dress is originally priced at $265. Now when you compare this to the other dresses that I've been showing you, I think the other dresses are nicer and they're like more than half the price of this. And this is more like a nightgown. <laughs> so I'm very happy with this and I will be like, you've probably seen this in videos and stuff too because it's really comfortable, but yet again, it's not it's very expensive for what it is it does have a lot of nice details it is nice fabric but it is not the worth the price that love shack fancy is charging for it <laughs> so i'm glad that i got it at almost 70 percent off because if i hadn't gotten it for that cheap i probably would have returned it unless i was filthy rich <laughs> but yes so this is so cute and comfy and i'm happy i got it now i have two active wear pieces from amy jean london and I actually found out about this company because Arisa Cookie on Instagram had gotten one of these sets and like had a link and everything. And I was like, oh my goodness, they're so cute. They actually look like Love Shack Fancy pieces. You know, one is wondering like how much they cost. Each set was only $49.99. I think that's a steal. So let me show you them. Here's the first one. I, oh my goodness, these are so soft. They're so comfy. They have ruffles on them. Like what? I absolutely love this. I also like it because it's not super cropped, so it's more of a modest workout. And it has this beautiful, like, floral design. And it's this perfect, like, pink color. And then we have, I kind of like three-quarter workout gear, but this one comes, like, right to my ankles. But yeah, these are so cute, so comfy, and I got both sets in a size small. And they both work great. Here is the next one, which I almost think I like this one the best, even though I feel like my boobs need to be a little bit bigger to fill this out. <laughs> but sadly with these, you have to buy the set the same size. You can't like choose the top as a different size and the bottom because then I, I probably would have done the tops as extra smalls and the bottoms as small. But alas, it's still super comfy and it's just a little big up here, which I'm fine with. But it has this really cute little bow and I love the design on this. It's like, I don't know, like a vintage rose frame type of design. And it has ruffles around the top of the workout pants. And again, these go all the way down to your ankle. They're full length. And yeah, so that is everything. Whatever's still available, I will have links down in the description box below in case you want to go and check anything out. And if you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know which outfit was your favorite out of this whole video and or if you have bought any of these dresses before watching this video or if you bought anything after watching this video and you made it all the way to the end leave me the dress emoji down in the comments below and i really hope you have a wonderful day or night and i hope to see you next time Bye bye